friends and welcome to my channel my name is Sarah and in today's video we're gonna be starting on the opposite side of the hallway I decided to film it anyways um because I did ask you in my previous video if you guys want to be if you guys wanted to see it or not but I am gonna film it because I'm gonna share some other things that I've been doing as well um so yeah without further ado we're gonna start taking the battens off the other side and then we're gonna take the baseboards off so then I can get ready to trim it out and then we're gonna texture that whole side we're not gonna do the beadboard half wall on that side we're just gonna do the texturing and just have it all white so that it's not too so it doesn't feel too like narrow I guess is how I would describe it. I don't, I don't want it to feel narrow when you're walking down the hallway. So I'm just going to do the beadboard on the one side, which you guys have already seen. And then on the other side, like I said, I'm going to trim it out. I'm going to trim the boys' bedroom doors. And then we're just going to texture the whole wall. And we will paint the trim the same color as the trim on the opposite. And call it a day, really. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And then I did get my heat gun in the mail. I did finally break down and buy one. It was about $31, so not too bad. So I am going... I did do a practice run on one of the drawer fronts in the kitchen. But it did rip off some MDF. I think I just pulled too quickly before it heated up and was, like, coming off. I think I just pulled too quickly. So my idea is to... Uh, do some more practice runs on the cabinets that are already lifting here by the laundry room so i'm going to do those that might that will probably be in this video we'll see how much i can get done i'm definitely going to take off the battens and the trimming today maybe start mudding i might not mud today i might wait and do that tomorrow or and then just do the um vinyl wraps on my cabinets i'm not sure but you will see what i get up to as it will be in this video but without further ado let's jump into starting on this other side of the hallway in the laundry area because i only like i said in previous videos i only have two hours while cooper's at school to get some stuff done so we need to work quickly when he's at school because it i mean i can do things when he's home but it's just a little bit harder especially if he's going to touch the walls like if i i can't paint when he's home if, unless it's high up or I can't like put the drywall mud on the wall when he's home because he will he loves to feel textures that's part of his sensory thing with being autistic he loves texture so he's always gonna be feeling things so if I have wet drywall mud or wet paint it's it's not gonna go over well so I try to do a lot of my projects while he's at school so without further ado we're gonna jump into getting some projects done and yeah, we'll see what we can get up to. I look in the mirror, who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened, guess we weren't meant to be. I know we had problems, I thought we could fix them. But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on Together. Even if we tried, we'd be stuck here forever. 
Okay, so I know my furnace is running, so you may or may not be able to hear me, but I do have a few minutes left before my alarm goes off before I gotta go pick up Cooper today. So I did get all of the battens off and all of the baseboards off, and now I'm gonna work on taking these um, vinyl wraps off my cabinets. I probably will only get one off by the time I need to leave, but we're gonna get some done before we need to leave. So it is quite a few days later. I did get some of the, so I ended up doing, <laughs> even though I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I ended up doing it anyways. I took some of the vinyl off of the cabinets by the washer and dryer. I still need to take the vinyl off one more cabinet door and then that will be done. But today, where Cooper's at school, I'm gonna be working on cutting the trim and getting the rest of the trim up so that I can, cause I need to be able to do that when he's at school cause I can't make cuts and do things like that when he's here, it's just a little bit harder for me to do that. So I'm gonna put up the trim while he's at school today. Hopefully I can get it all done. And then maybe once he is home, I can start working on the cabinets again because the cabinets are up high, so he can't reach those. And it's a little bit easier for me to do stuff that's like higher up when he's home than things that he can touch at his reach. So I think that's what we're gonna do this morning. So I'm not gonna talk for very long because I only have a, a certain amount of time. I only have two hours while he's at school and to get some stuff done. So without further ado, let's jump into getting some of this trim done. But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you
bothering Every day we dance and life's been smiling We're not young, still drunk in love Okay, you guys, so it is a few days later. I was sick and then Cooper was sick, so it's we're feeling better now, but it's been an ongoing thing in our household. But I'm still working on the hallway. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that I brought the desk out here. I can't remember. We're gonna do a DIY on that eventually, but probably not in today's video. We will get there and excuse the mess. That is kind of like my drop zone for my projects right now. It's just easiest. <laughs> So that's kind of like where everything goes, but we will work on that project eventually. And then I'm gonna get some cafe curtains, I believe, for there. But this is the update on the hallway. This side is done, you guys saw that in the last video. And then we're working on this side. I did get the boys' bedrooms, bedroom doors trimmed out. I got most of the trim down on the bottom. I do still need to get trim pieces for here. I'm gonna do one and a half inch. I already made the space for that. My furnace is gonna kick in. But I want to do something, paint the furnace cover or something. If anyone has any suggestions or knows what I can do with that, please let me know. I don't know if I'm allowed to paint it or not. If anyone has any tips or tricks or any ideas, please let me know in the comments below so I can figure out what to do with that. And then, so the trim is around Cooper's door as well. And then we get back here and i got the all of the vinyl off which you guys would have seen and then i put i my battery ended up dying when i put the uh wood filler on but i ended up getting all the wood filler on and i, I think i only filmed the one door because that's all a battery life i had left but all of the doors have the wood filler on it i it's been drying for quite a few days now but i just need to sand it down we can start painting that i put new knobs on i wanted wooden knobs that i could paint on them so i did that and then I will be painting behind the washer and dryer as well. That might not happen right away because I do need my husband's help for that because I obviously can't move these by myself. I mean, I probably could, but it, they're heavy. So yeah, so today's project, I think while Cooper's at school, I'm gonna work on these doors. I'm gonna get them sanded and then we're gonna prime them and then hopefully get to some painting if I have enough time. But that is the plan for today. And then hopefully, sorry, my furnace kicked in. I can start on the texturing, even if I just get the top half of the wall done bef uh, while Cooper, even while Cooper's home, I can do the top half and then maybe tomorrow when he's at school, I can finish with the bottom half, just where he can't touch, or wh where he can touch, I can't do when he's home, so because he'll make a mess. But anyways, we're gonna, without further ado, we're gonna get started on this stuff. harder than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if it's because it's like wood filler. <laughs> it doesn't sand as lightly and as easy as drywall. Show your no. face. Let me see parts of you. Oh my, our bodies interlace, slow and easy.
I have two fusion colors that I am trying to choose between. I have Bayberry, which is a darker green, and then I have Lick Lichen or Lick. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's L I C H E N. Le Lichen? I don't know. And it's a lighter green. It's a color that is on my dresser. But I'm kind of leaning towards the dark because I do really like that dark moody look as well. So I'm going to lean towards this. I'm going to do Bayberry. And if I don't like it, I can always change it. It's just paint. So I think I'm going to go with Bayberry. Okay friends, so it's a couple days later. I need to finish up this video because it needs to go up on Monday. It is currently Friday, so I need to finish up this video so I can start editing so I can go up on Monday. I didn't finish the hallway like I was thinking I was going to finish. It's been quite the week. <clears throat> so I still need to keep getting dark I still need to texture the wall and paint it but I did get the cabinets painted and now I'm gonna hang up the hooks my husband just wants the hooks on this side he doesn't want them going all the way down the hall he thinks that that would be too much so for now I'm just gonna put them on the panel by the bathroom door and see how that looks and then maybe on this side too we'll see and then leave the long haul with no hooks and just kind of see how it looks but anyway so we're gonna do that today and we're gonna finish out the video and then at the end I will kind of like take the camera and show you what it all looks like I did get like I said get the cabinets painted I still need to do the top coat on the cabinets for the fusion paint because fusion paint does have a top coat for it so I still need to do that but they're painted I am not sure if I love the color yet or not we'll see that's why I haven't put the top coat on them I just want to live with it for a few days before I do that to make sure I like the color because I am just not sure about it right now so anyways we're gonna hang up these hooks that I got and then we'll end up the video give up everything that I own yeah I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow unexpected love was found you're the rose
Okay friends, so this is how this area is looking and I know it's kind of grainy because it is dark back here and I have the doors closed because Cooper is home so we need to keep the doors closed. But um, I did get the hooks up so that's all done. I really like how they look. I don't know. I may or may not extend them down the hall. I know my husband doesn't want to but we'll see. And so that may or may not still happen. I really like how that looks. I want to get some artwork for right there. And then these are all done and painted. Now, let me see if I can go this way, if it'll be nicer. There we go. Okay, so here is my dilemma with these. You can see where I put the wood filler. I don't love that. It's it is flat, like I have sanded it flat, but you can still see it. So I don't love that. I don't think I'll use that in the kitchen when I do those ones because there are some spots where it lifted that I didn't really put um, wood filler on and you can't really notice those spots unless you're super close up. So I don't know. I don't know what to do, but the cabinets are painted. They are painted Bayberry by Fusion Paint. I, like I said, I haven't done the top coat because I'm still trying to decide if I like this color or not. I do like dark and moody, but I just don't know if I love it with all the beige, if that makes sense. But keep in mind too, this wall is still not painted white like it's supposed to be. So I might change my mind once that's painted. So I'm not gonna put the top coat on these cabinets until Everything is painted white and I really get a feel of like what the space is going to look like. So I'm just going to keep that for now because I still, like I said, need to paint that white and kind of figure that out. But that's where we're at with the hallway right now. You see me put up all this trim, so that's all done. I still need to texture. That's the next step is to texture this wall and start painting because I really want to get this project done. I feel like this hallway is the never ending hallway. Honestly, I just feel like I... I get one step closer and then I feel like I'm it's just yeah it's just taking a really long time to get this hallway done so I have all the stuff to finish the hallway I just need to do it and find the time to do it but with Cooper's autism it's hard to obviously so um, I do it whenever I have free moments so or free pockets of time you can see him there in the background he took the cushions off the couch but yeah, so the next step is to texture this wall, get everything painted. That trim's gonna be painted the same beige as this. Just around the trim of the doors and the baseboards are gonna be the same beige. And then the walls, again, will be textured and they'll be white. So that's where we're at. Okay, so my furnace is about to kick in, so I'm just gonna uh, end out this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, as it really helps me out, and definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy uh, budget DIYs makeovers I am doing a lot of that here on this channel right now making over our 1970s mobile home so I've been doing a lot of projects and if you enjoy this those types of videos I would love if you would consider uh, consider consider subscribing can't talk today and I will see you in the next one bye guys